I'm Sarospa, and today I'll be your humble guide through Off. Uh, still going on the RPG path, but this one is a little unconventional. Yeah, unconventional. Uh, it's actually a free RPG. Um, you could go play it yourself if it looks interesting, but for now I'm going to be uh, showing you what Off is like. So, let's just get right into it. It's a little weird to read. I don't know. I, I hope I have the right font. I kind of feel like I might not. I don't know. I can. It's not that hard to read, but it does look off. I mean, weird. Okay. Um. Yeah, so this is a good time to get into this. Um. So I had always intended to have a content warning when I actually got to off. Um. I don't think it's very spoiler to say this, so um, if you want to make sure you don't hear any spoilers, I'll I'll give a time code in the description below, and uh, I might put an annotation in or something. I don't know, but I'll I'll put in a thing. So if you don't want to hear it, just skip ahead. I'll catch up with you in a minute. Uh, for those of you who do want to know, um. This this game does get into themes of uh, abuse, uh, spousal abuse, uh, child abuse, um, that kind of thing. So if uh, it's not for a while, but if that sounds like something that would make you uncomfortable or that you just don't want to see, you know, just keep that in mind. You might want to skip this one. Uh, I don't know, but it's in there. Uh, just so you know. And now that we're all joined back up again, I think that um, it's time for us to actually get into the game proper. And yeah, I think I've got all the proper files in. I mean, they should all be there because I got the kind of complete package uh, when I downloaded it. Um, this game was actually originally uh, in French. Um, it was translated into English. Uh, what would we do without fan translators, I guess? Because uh, we otherwise we would have missed out on some amazing games. Um, and uh, it's a very good translation. Um, and you'll see that the actually the dialogue is one of the best aspects of it, I think. I think, uh, um, I don't quite have an idea of, like, um, how long this game will take. I think I can probably do, uh, one zone per episode, which is probably going to come out to six, maybe? I don't know. Um, just to get everything. We'll see. Um, I think this first one might be short, uh, depending on how this shakes out. Um... Because zone, zone Zero is just the tutorial area, uh, and I may want to keep these self-contained uh, one zone at a time. I'm not sure. We'll see how much time we have. I can talk, but they won't hear me, unfortunately. Although that would be pretty sweet if they could. Or creepy. Actually, I'm gonna go with mostly creepy.
Doesn't he just look so lovable? Seriously, the judge is the best. He's one of my favorite characters. He's awesome. So, um... There's gonna be a lot of, uh, curious things that, uh... around here that we, we may not really know what to do with yet. Um, that's okay. We'll figure it out in due time. So normally I'd skip combat tutorials, but honestly, I like any excuse, excuse to uh, hear the judge talk more, so I'm going to go through this one real quick. It won't take very long. I think you genuinely need to have a dictionary open in order to follow every single word that he says. I like to think I have a pretty good vocabulary, but I regular, regularly see words in the judge's dialogue that I have no idea what they mean. But I guess context is usually enough to figure it out. Uh, so let's do something incorrect. Maybe I shouldn't like that one. Let's use the auto one. I just want to show off each bit of dialogue he has in, uh, in this tutorial. Okay, okay. I may have caused a minor bug by uh, by using the auto command. Oh well. 
So as you might have gathered, despite the fact that Off's visual aesthetic uh, and all of its, its aesthetic, I guess, is pretty different from the norm, it plays pretty much exactly like uh, Final Fantasy IV. So that's convenient. Uh, if you remember how Final Fantasy IV went, this game, as weird as it gets, pretty much plays out the same. It's really not that, that different gameplay-wise. Um, in fact, I find that the gameplay uh, is one of the less standout aspects of this game. Um, it's fairly standard. Um, it doesn't really do anything that weird. Which uh, which makes it a really good um, candidate for an LP, and one of the reasons I did select it is that um, really the things that are most worth seeing is the visuals, uh, the music, and the very weird characters and story. Uh, it's... yeah. I, I, uh... But I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist messing up at least once. <laughs> the judge is great. Hey, my brain doesn't bathe flabbily think uh, so off has quite a few puzzles uh, a lot of them are like this um, basically uh, each block of these corresponds to a number and you figure out which one is which basically just by reading them you know left to right top to bottom so this is one three two, four. Nice and simple. And this one is similarly pretty straightforward. As long as I don't lose track of which block is which. Uh, like everything in this game, the items have kind of weird names. Uh, luck tickets are potions, silver flesh is ethers, and pretty much nothing is named as in a traditional RPG. Um, I guess blind, you can be blinded. Uh, so status effects are pretty normal. So let's see. Um, 448287C. Four four eight four four eight two eight seven, and then uh, you're just kind of supposed to infer from the kind of calculator layout that C is the bottom one here.
All right. So, um, that was Zone Zero. Mostly just tutorial stuff. Um, but next up, we will be exploring Zone One, and things are going to get much more interesting very quickly. Uh, so I hope to see you there.